All right, folks, the deck is Zombie Chow OTK Priest. The goal of the deck is to draw your Zombie Chow, play Akanai Phantasm, Baron Rivendare, and Spirit Singer Umbra, along with a Circle of Healing to deal 40 damage to your opponents. In order to help us get there, we do have the Death Rattle Package to draw minions with Dead Ringer and Loot Hoarder, as well as Awaken the Makers to survive a little bit into the late game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! I will fight with honor. The we'll keep. Shall bring victory. Is Mass Hysteria good enough here? Maybe? No. I want Psychic Scream more. This is better. Kevin the Bro, thank you for the 100 bits. Did you come up with this combo? No, it's one that's uh, been around for a while. Um, but it did get some new cards with the um, Raise Dead helps a bit, as does uh, Terran with the Draw Engine. I think I have a video over on YouTube. There's also a version with Corrupted Healbot, but I think that's a little bit too heavy. Reporting for duty. This is actually not bad if I can hit the Phantasm, um, because Never Surrender is a card. That's uh, Never Surrender is also why the Mass Hysteria isn't very good. How greedy do I want to get? I think I wait at least one turn. Because this is a... Um, really, turn four is the best time for Spirit Lash, but this could be a muster turn. So that might force my hand. The punish is if they do have the Never Surrender, but I don't think that taking four damage off the board does a whole lot. Okay. I also have the opportunity to maybe hit Thalnos off of this trade. And then I full clear. Wow. I think we still lash here. And then coin this boy out. Uh, these two, this is my a uh, clear. Reporting for duty. Never Your surrender. Dance, I think I probably do want to clear this into their turn five. It also dumps some cards going into uh, Divine Paper turns. Two Chows deal 20 damage. How do you get 40? You use Baron Rippendare. Blessing turn? Yeah, but like one big minion Back isn't that concerning. Or the, uh, the wide board that I tend to struggle with. Until I get to the, um, the psychic screams, that is. Ooh. That went well. Does Amara kill you if you have an Akai and I effect? Um, I don't know because she says set your hero's health to 40. I know that Reno does. I don't have cards in hand is the problem. <laughs> well, actually, I could uh, I could dump an Emperor here, right? Because I don't need a full set of cost reduction, so Emperor is fine. Twilight's Call would be ideal, though. Am I ever dead here? Do your best. Thank you for the 100 bits. Great advice, too. Let's uh, get this. That makes it better to uh, go in here, right? It's 9 and 11, 12. So technically not dead. Uh, but we got enough cost reduction that we can still just get there. I think we only need two pieces reduced anyway, and we got four. Oh no. Umbra is at the bottom of the deck. I mean, okay. We have a lot of card draw and Witchwood Piper, so it's not the end of the world if that is the case. Reporting for duty. 
And even then, since they're at 20, or close enough to 20, we could still win without Umbra, so. Actually, that's not true. We can't. Oh! Turns out Umbra was not at the bottom of the deck. What do you know? Do I get to ban you now? Uh, we have to survive one turn to win. We could be dead to uh, two armsmen, right? Eight extra damage? Yeah, we'd be mega dead to it. Not a whole lot I can do. Though. Ooh, that's good. Take the one. Take the one. Take it! Or, sorry, take the two. Take it. Well, they're taking it anyway, so. And we completed the quest. Wait, no, we didn't. Never mind. Here for a lesson. The light shall bring victory. This is too slow against Agar Druid, and um, it, so is the Witchwood Piper. I need to, do, to draw that uh, a little bit later into the game. I might have to um, just throw the Zombie Chow out there to make some trades, but I'm not going to do it on turn one because I don't know for sure that it's um, Agar Druid. This is a somewhat new deck, haven't seen it before. No, it's an old combo. I think I have a, at least one video over on YouTube. What decks do you plan to play tonight? Well, it's still afternoon for me, but I plan to play Evolve Shaman, which I just finished, and this deck. That's... Beyond that, I uh, haven't really decided. Blue Hoarder is good. Um, we might have a hard time getting enough damage if they run a lot of armor gain. Hey, give me that. Kill it. You won't. Coward. Delightful! Hey, give me that! I can't do that. A clear garden for the king. Some more card draw. Hey, give me that! Oh. Wow. Um, actually, is that it? Yeah, we can just play this, right? That's enough uh, cost reduction. Because this always draws the zombie chow anyway, so. We are weak, however, to uh, Dirty Rat, so that's cool. Hey, they're drawing me cards. That's nice of them. It's too many cards, okay? Not anything important yet. Delightful! How do I get rid of cards now? Emperor? Nice. Double cost reduction means I can weave in a hero power, which could get me the... Uh, the extra damage I need. Five armor is not relevant. Combo piece. I need to dump a card, right? Let's dance. Cause I can't afford to overdraw anymore. I think it just has to be this one, and I hope that the Emperor survives. It does not, but that's fine. Delightful! Uh, I just need the 
I just need one card and we win, right? It's actually just the Baron. And they're going to be drawing um, Jades for a while. Sure. I think you got lethal. I only have 20. So no, I don't have lethal. Well, it's 22 technically, but it's not lethal. Why not Nazoth in this deck? Because he would not be good in this deck. Someone making Quest Druid great again? Does not seem to be the case, no. This is good, and the Raised Dead is also good with it, I think. Unless we get devolved, which will make me sad. Turned our curse into our strength. Just glad it's not audit, shaman. Twilight's call is great. Also, idiot totem is shockingly not bad for me, right? Because I want this to die, so I am happy to see this trade. I do not want that guy, so. I don't want uh, Terran diluting the t uh, Twilight's Call pool right now, so I'm going to go off curve. This is more reliable than um, than Thalnos Slash. This now completes our quest, and even if we get devolved, I think we're in a fine spot. That Panther draw card seems good in Quest Shaman? Quest Shaman, or even Shaman? I don't think it's good when you have to pay four mana for draw two. And then, yeah, once you're in the Shutterwalk situation, sometimes uh, fatigue becomes a factor. I don't think this is a good enough, um, hmm. I'm gonna overdraw here, but I think it's fine. Mind if I roll me? Or I have the potential to overdraw here, but I still think it's fine. It's only overdrawing one. I could also just throw this out. Make sure it's not a zombie chow that I overdraw. And the Witchwood Piper is a little bit better into um, Mass Hysteria if I need to use it. And then I can also use uh, Thalnos for a... Or save Thalnos for a 
spirit lash if I hit it. Oof. Yeah. As long as it's not Umbra. Yeah, we have redundancy in that, so I think we're fine here. Your cards now. Still not out of this. It should clear, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a situation. I think the only bad situation is the taunt totem staying up, right? Next turn, I can go here and here. Or I can just throw out the Emperor. Whoops. Do I have enough pieces for the Emperor? Yeah, I should probably just get the Emperor down while I can. I'm not likely to die here. Now all I need is the... Um, the Umbra. Umbra and the, uh, the Circle of Healing, so I need two pieces. That's fine. Got a lot of card draw for the raise, dead. Hey, that's my card. close. Let's, uh, Dreamless? Or I could take a risk with the Hysteria. Or maybe not even a risk. I could just bump, bump. Get some extra cost reduction off of the Thorison. And then play the, uh, Amara. Let's do that. Gives me more card draw. Mind if I roll me? You are safe. We're just short that one card that we overdrew. <laughs> we do also just have 20 damage without the circle, so if we can get 5 to face, we win that way as well. Could you repeat that? I mean... I'll write that down. Sure. Shadow Visions 2, yeah. Shadow Visions is also lethal, so we've got 2 out of 8. But we also just have more than enough uh, ways to delay here. And if this goes face, we win now. The barrel? Oh, the barrel, yeah. But I mean, the barrel is fine though, right? Because they need to clear it. But they can't do so very effectively. I guess they can. Alright. Wrong card. There you go. Have some more. I'm just going to play this out and throw this at their face. Now, if they attack into this, we have lethal, so I feel like they're pretty likely to attack into that. If they don't attack into it, it attacks face most of the time, and then we have lethal. Also, we have lethal anyway, just because we can hero power, so it's, it's game. So that set up a guaranteed lethal. You gonna lose fatigue. Yeah, that's a bummer. Let's have some fun. <laughs> the light shall bring victory. Okay, Warlock. As long as there's no uh, Malganus, should be fine, right? Well, I guess maybe Disco Lock isn't a good matchup for us, but I'm going to pretend like that's not a deck that exists. Nice. Good draw. Mind if I roll me? I'll up. 
Uh oh. Uh. Let's draw. Find a Twilight's call, I guess. That works too. Snip Snap Warlock has made a comeback. No, I think it's probably just Mechathun. Which means I need to draw aggressively. Wait, it's Mech War- what? Now I'm confused. Thank you. Well, hey, give me that. Ah! I mean, I've almost got the combo already, so I've got that going for me. Mind if I roll knee? Mind if I roll knee? I can fix anything. Yeah. I don't need the full forty damage this game, most likely. I need to find Thalnos, that would be ideal. Uh, this will get me Amara most of the time, right? Unless I draw Terran. 12 damage. If I do draw Terran, I can just go here and um, and play the Amara. Cool. Or I could just scream these into the opponent's deck. Fixer, thank you for the prime. Add an optional message for Raffle. Good job. Could just go here. Yeah, let's do that. I can scream next turn after they clear the Amara. Or they're just gonna concede. You are safe now. This is likely to hit the Akanai. Wow. Yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and Psychic Scream here. How much uh, damage do we have? 20? Until I, I can just drop an Emperor next turn. Next turn we can go, which would... Wow, okay, yikes. Uh... Oh, they had burst. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. Yep, they had burst. I don't have lethal, right? Because we only have 20 damage. I can't get all, all of these things down. I think I do want to get this down just to deal more damage to that Jeeves. There we go, three. Maybe I get this down instead. Come dance to my song. That's a low roll. That was a one out of three. Draws me two cards. No, it draws me one card because this doesn't draw anything. I guess I could have gone um, Twilight's Call first. To make it 
more likely that I hit the Phantasm if I hit the Thanos off of uh, this guy, but... That should be lethal, right? Let's dance. Cause we don't need the full combo. Come dance to my song. Let me show you the other side. The greatest version is a. We got him. The light shall bring victory. Light smiles upon the just. Three should be a good matchup. I just want card draw against it. I did not find card draw. <laughs> wow. Uh, yikes. Greetings. Greetings. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I mean, you're here. Please go. Thank you. Well played. All right, let's look for not these. I'm looking for a Twilight's call so that I, or even Raised Dead, so that I can eventually get my Death Rattle draws going. Not that Death Rattle. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Hyper at least gets cards moving, but I need to hit the two mana minions. Oh, it's Big Priest. Good thing we hit that Psychic Scream. Honestly, that's still a fine matchup, right? They're not likely to kill us from a large life total, so this is just fine. Even if they coin a Shadow Essence here, it's not guaranteed that they hit two minions. Be considered a side career doing impressions. I mean, that's about half of what I do here anyway, so. <laughs> you might be able to consider it my main career. Oh, they are going to go for it. Oh, it's a Zilliax. That's good. All right, we just take uh, just take twelve here. I don't want a hysteria because then it puts these in the res pool. Whereas if we psychic scream, they don't have anything in the res pool, and then they're sad. Do you consider streaming a job? I mean, it's how I earn my living, so yeah. Do you not consider streaming a job? I guess would be my counter question to that. Put those right back. And it ruined the opponent's game plan there, right? They need to have another Shadow Essence. I need to draw cards that are, like, useful, though. <laughs> this is... This is pretty bad. Do people on the streets ask you for autographs? Uh, no. That's in large part because I don't go outside. Warriors of the frozen wastes. You have a citation for that, Bama, or are you just like spewing out information without without sources? Sure would be nice if that were the case though. Oh, we actually did them a favor by burning that. What a bummer. Hmm. People walk up to you on the street and ask, what's the win con? <laughs> no. No. Usually when people approach me. Because I'm in the way or something.
It's very rude to talk about someone else's income. I think it, I, I don't think it's that rude. I think it's pretty rude to just like make assumptions about, <laughs> or to make statements about what somebody makes without knowing anything about whether or not it's accurate. I think that's true of anything, to just make claims about somebody without any, any evidence or information, like, Seems pretty misleading. I think I'm dead here. I did not draw my cards in the right order, did I? I mean, I could survive this turn, but then I lose my win condition. I would have to get both zombie chows back from race studs. The culture of not talking about income at all is harmful to workers. I agree. It's not the fact that they're speculating about my income. It's the, the fact that they stated it as a fact <laughs> without any any knowledge on the matter. All right, we're just going in on this. I have to. You are safe now. Also, if these zombie chows live, I guess I just win that way too. Wow. So that's cool, right? No, maybe not because I can't kill them twice because uh, they don't get the play trigger on them. Does Blizzard give you compensation for advertising their game? No, that's not at all how it works. Uh, sometimes they send perks and stuff like um, like for giveaways, but they don't pay me directly, no. I choose to play their game. I would have to disclose it if they were paying me. Um, I have multiple chances at the zombie chows because I have, the, I have another race dead in deck as well as a shadow vision, so... Could get there. Almost got lethal here. Still don't want to play this, but um, there's a good chance that, like, maybe they scream and then I just get these cards back, and that's cool too. Oh, oh, that's a big oopsie. <laughs> All right, uh, I think we can win this game, Brent. Moving forward. Yep. Come dance to my song. Cool. Um, these. Wait, we have the combo now, right? Because these are almost certain to draw the... I, I guess I could have even mass hysteria this, but these are almost certainly going to draw the zombie chows. Yeah. I've got four de uh, death rattles in my deck. But if I don't hit the zombie chow, I just have the mass hysteria as well, so this should be a guaranteed win. And you're dead. Cool. We won. Well, I mean, we took a risk and it, uh, <laughs> I guess it paid off. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Brokey, Dope Guy, Vanfix, Tom, and Neofay.